I'm Tracy, professional geologist here at Meeting Me Geology, and I am here today to talk to you about the downloadable igneous rock identification flowcharts that you can find on our website. Welcome to Ask a Geologist, brought to you by Mini Me Geology. We make earth science exciting with fun rocks, cool minerals, fascinating experiments, awesome kits, and the answers to your geology questions. Mini Me Geology is where kids rock, so let's get rolling. dig into geology section of our site and when you go into that section you'll see a whole grouping of downloadable identification flowcharts. There's minerals and there's all different types of rock flowcharts that you can download. In particular this is the igneous flowchart and when you download it and print it this is what you will see and basically to use this chart you would go from left to right across the page. Now to identify a rock the first thing that you normally do is look at its texture. A texture is basically the size of the mineral crystals in the rock. So your options are going to be that you don't really see any crystals, meaning that it looks similar to a glass, or super, super fine grain, meaning you can tell that there's crystals, but you really can't tell one from another, and it looks fairly uniform. Then you're going to have a medium grain where you can fairly easily see different colors or different grain sizes in the rock, and then you're going to have a coarse grain where you can easily see different grain sizes in the rock. So we're going to use this sample here to test our flow chart and when we look at this sample we're going to see that it, it really does not look like it has any distinct crystals in it. It is very uniform in color so I'm going to start up in this box here under texture where it says no crystals or fine grain. Your other options are a medium to coarse grain and then there are some igneous rocks that have a mixture of two where you'll see it looks like it has a fine background and then you'll have some larger crystals kind of floating in that background matrix and that is your middle box. So we're in the top box here because I don't really see any distinct crystals. And then you're going to move on to the outward color of your sample. In this case, this sample is black. So we're going to go in the top box, which is dark gray, green, or black. Your other option is a lighter set of colors like grays um, and pinks and things like that. So we're in the top box, and that brings us over to two options under special features. And one is that it looks like a glass, and the other is that it's very heavy. Now, this sample is fairly lightweight. Um, it's easy to pick up and carry around, and it actually does look like a glass. So we're going to say this is not a heavy sample but that it does look like a glass, and if I follow those arrows over, I find out that I have the sample obsidian. So you can use this flowchart with most of the Mini Me Geology igneous rock collections, and you can also use it with a lot of the samples that you'll find just out in nature walking around and picking up things to use in your own collection. So I hope this flowchart is helpful, and if you have any questions, you can always get in touch with us at rockinfo at minimegeology.com. <laughs>